Hey everybody, welcome What's to a that? brand new episode of Popcorn, Coffee, and Joysticks. I'm your host, H.B. Gibson. First and foremost, I want to thank you, the worldwide YouTube audience, for checking out the channel, for checking out this video. You could be watching any gaming video on YouTube. You decided to check this one out, and it is greatly appreciated. Now, if you're watching this, you are automatically inducted into the PCJ Dojo and have become my official Karateka Warriors. And what do we do here at the PCJ Dojo? Focus. We breathe. We visualize the target. And dragon! <laughs> that like button, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon, so that way you can get notifications of brand new content. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to continue our journey in the world of X. Mortis. If you remember from the last episode, I know the last episode was like watching paint dry. We're going to try to make this one a little bit more exciting, okay? Today, we continue with our new segment entitled Games from the Crypt. That's right. These are video games that have been out for a long time that I've never heard of, but I decided to play them. And we're going to continue with the X Mortis trilogy. Yeah, I just found out it was a trilogy. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's just continue our journey into Ex Mortis with Ex Mortis 2. Ex Mortis 2 is the second chapter in the Ex Mortis series by Leffler Web Design, released on March 27th, 2006 on Newgrounds.com. Why I'm playing it on Crazy Games, I don't know. Here we go. Okay, that caught me. Right, hold on, let me make sure that the let me make sure that the sound is good. my headphones the hordes of Exmortis swept across the earth a plague unlike anything humanity had ever encountered in their final stand a handful of mankind's last survivors stood their ground defiant of their inevitable fate and in those last moments as death took these brave souls a stranger, passing in the distance, put his plans in motion. Where's your god now? Hold on. See, I can't read. Yeah, let me hide this bar. Okay, there we go. I couldn't read it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go. This abandoned church was to be the Renaissance... No, ugh. This abandoned church was supposed to be the resistance rendezvous point after the final stand against Ex Mortis. This door leads inside. I only hope that beyond its darkness... I will find some survivors of the battle with Ex Mortis. This barren wasteland stretches in most directions as far as the eye could see. Sometimes I wonder if there's anything left to fight for. All right, here we go. Rendezvous point, here we go. Make sure my microphone's here. Are we there? Let's get a swig of water before we get into this. Let 
The last game was creepy. I think we're dealing with a cult. Let's go ahead. Okay. What? What in the? What the? Woo! Holy S. There may be nothing living left in here. Oh, man. <laughs> you saw that door? <laughs> but I'm definitely not alone. It isn't of the Ex Mortis, though. I would be dead by now if it was. This priest's pulpit stands at the head of the church. A large Bible sits atop, open to chapter Revelations. End of days. How appropriate. Now let's, uh, let's follow you. Let's follow these, uh... The statue of Christ looks over the room, which was once filled with his faithful followers. What I see now is all that is left of them. Okay, let's rock. Let's rock on over here. This side of the booth is empty. Something or someone is clearly in the other booth. I think we're going to get our first jump scare, y'all. Kind of soon, though, right? This is the door to the confessional booth I am in. Now that I am in here, something seems to be holding the door shut. The window looks through to the other booth. Whoever is in the other booth is looking back at me. What could he want? Let's go. Mr. Halley, please sit for my time here is limited. I take it the battle didn't go as planned. An unfortunate inevitability, I'm afraid. Nevertheless, it has aided and allowed me the passage I require to make contact with you. The Exmortus know you're here, so I must be brief. All might seem lost to you in this dark hour, however, I am here to bring you hope when you have none. Hmm. I have here with me a parchment which you will do well to read carefully. The knowledge within its pages will shed light on your path towards removing the scourge and allowing mortal man to begin rebuilding. I don't doubt that you are wondering if I am trustworthy or not. Mm -mm. However, at this point, neither you nor the remaining fragments of humanity have anything left to forfeit. I'm mm. afraid mankind's fate rests on your next course of action. For your sake, I hope you make the right choices. Mm. Whatever was in the next booth it wasn't human however everything he spoke of made sense I guess I really have no choice but to trust him for now that's right I'm making it dramatic that's right, All right so where are we going is there any way is there any way oh okay all the windows in this church look like they may be boarded up a long time ago to keep something out or to keep something in. Let's see, how do I get out of here? Okay. A pile of bound papers rests on the stool. This must be the parchment the entity implored. I examine. Prophecy of the Hand. Now look, if this is one of those long books, I'm not reading it. Here we go. I'm sorry, I uh, I don't have that kind of time these days to read. Unless I'm doing voiceover. Okay, so. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's see. Okay, now how do I get out? Oh. 
Oh, okay, cool. It, well, you know, you have to like, you know, investigate things in these games uh, in order for you to get out or move on to the next room. Sometimes you have to interact with certain things and that kind of unlocks the other door or, you know, helps you move on in the story. So here we go. All right. Now, where do I go? The tracks on the ground indicate that this old rust bucket of a car still works. As old as it is, it will still need a key to start. I wish I knew how to hotwire this thing. Oh my God, what do I do? The door leads back into the church. It seems to have locked behind me. Oh, well, well, what is this? Besides, from the look of those approaching clouds, I should be leaving very quickly. What is... I don't... What do I do? Running is not going to help. The ex mortis will find me in a flash. I wouldn't last 30 seconds. F, F, F. Think, fool, think. Oh. Oh. What is that? What is that? What is that? Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Play again from the start of the chapter. Yeah, very, very bloody. All right. Um. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It, it didn't really leave much. What's, what's, th what's this? Old rusted coat hanger. Old rusted coat hanger. What's that? Oh, what's, what's that down there? What's this? Oh, there's a set of keys. A set of keys are falling between the wooden slats here. My hand won't fit, but I might be able to use this. Yeah, oh. Got it. Whoa, yes. Woo! <laughs> Yo, let's bounce! We out! <laughs> wow. Xavier's legacy. Lockheer Fields Ranch. Okay, this this is the Lockheer Fields Ranch. Lock lock ear? Lock ear? Yeah, lock ear. Fields Ranch, the document from the church led me to. What possible significance could this place have in the scheme of things? Hmm. All right, let's go. This door leads inside. I don't know what waits for me inside or what I am even looking for. I've got a feeling I won't have to wait long to find out. Here we go. What ah! the Dude, shoot. Okay, the picture fell. Okay, that's all. That's all the picture just fell. That's it. This is nothing to worry about. Uh, main, no, ranch lobby. Ranch lobby. Ranch lobby. What is it? Okay, uh, this set, uh, this double set of doors leads into adjacent hall. If I take on the place from outside is correct. If, if my take on the place from outside is correct. Okay. Well, what is it? Oh, I see you. I see you behind that door. I see you. What you talking about, Willis? Yeah, it was a right door. The door on the right of the corridor leads to another room. The door at the end of the corridor seems to be unlocked, but it is being blocked from the other side by something. Downstairs corridor. And what is this? The panel of this crawl space has been pulled off and propped up against the corridor wall. Strange. That, that ain't strange. Somebody went in there, man. Too dark. I better not push forward without knowing where I'm going. Yeah. That 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 sounds that sounds smart. <laughs> the door on the right of the corridor leads into another room. Let's go. Yagadui. <laughs> what the heck did I just say? Yagadui. <laughs> that that scared me, bro. 
What is... Oh. Oh, my goodness. They're, they're just still they're just still lopping off limbs. Remember the last game? They're just limbs all over the place. I wondered to myself, what is more ghastly, the sight of this poor soul hanging here or the crimson sky I can see through this window? Okay. From the looks of the blood splatter on the chair, I assume that this poor soul was strung up before he was mutilated. You hear that? F, that poor bastard had his eyes, arms, legs, and heart ripped from him. Only ex mortis are capable of this kind of cruelty. Yeah. Remember, remember the last game? Found the head in the, in the, um, in the microwave. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, clicking. There! Ah! Lord, oh Lord. Found an arm in the in the study. Whoa, is that a hand? Found a heart in the what was it? Well, it was a it was a safe. It appears to be a human heart. Yo, we're just finding all kind of body parts. Yes, what's here? One of those Sudoku. Oh, I remember Sudoku. So Duco puzzles sit on the table here. They used to be all the rage, but I never really got hooked. Three inner squares of the puzzle are highlighted. Okay, let's take a look. I I, I remember playing Sudoku once before a long time ago. You know, I think it was like when when was when was that? Early early what nineties? Let's see. Okay, so. The thing is, we have to find the pattern of the numbers uh, and their positioning. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay. So the graph goes, it goes left and right, left to right, left to right. So we got in this graph going up and down, we got the one at the at the bottom, uh, let's see, one at the bottom. I, I, wow, I don't, I, wow, I'm trying to remember. Okay. Okay, so it's three, three bottom, three top. So that means it has to be a three in the middle. So, hold up. Uh, three, yeah. Okay, let's see. We got an eight in the at the bottom, eight in the middle, so it's got to be an eight at the top. All right. What is this number? What's common here? One, one, one. One, one, one. Let me see. One, one. Let me think. Let me think. I have no clue, man. It can't be in the same box. I know that. Um, one, one, okay, one middle, one bottom, one top. We got one here, bottom, middle. Uh, so we got a one, one, maybe there's a one here? I'm guessing? Eight three one is that it? I'm not sure. Is that it? Do I get a ding 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 ding? I don't get a ding ding ding. Okay, all right. Why do I get the feeling that this is a like a code? Did I just give myself a code? Hold on. Let's. Whoa. Yeah, that's freaking me out. 
Okay, I can't go in there. That's too dark. Just came out of there, so let's go back. The painting is back on the wall. Look at that. Okay. This door is somewhat dissimilar to the one on the right, but it seems to be in working order. Okay, this this might be our first jump scare, y'all. Here we go. Oh, okay. That door did open kind of fast. What is this? Okay, there's a toolbox on the floor. What is this? An assortment of clothes. An assortment of children's clothes, coats and jumpers hang in the closet. As much as I need a fresh set of clothes that aren't covered in blood, I doubt anything fits me here. Yeah, those kids' clothes, of course, you know. Okay, there's a toolbox on the floor here. It has a small padlock on it. Are you kidding me? I'm just going to do a wild guess. I'm just gonna just throw it out there because not, I'll, I'll probably be wrong. Hold up, one. We're gonna. I'm gonna use the Sudoku answers. See what happens. I'm surprised I remembered that. What? Okay. All right now. The toolbox is on the floor. It's currently closed. There's an assortment of tools. I see nothing of immediate of a immediate use here. That means probably it's gonna be useful later. Okay, let's get out of here. All right. Uh, let's see. Should we go up? Okay. The old portrait still hangs on the wall here. Well, yeah, after it fell. So let's go upstairs, yo. They're not really covered in too much dust, so it means this place may have only recently been occupied. Okay, is there any place else to go? Okay, let's go upstairs. Whoa! Get out. Okay, clearly there is some kind of entity in this house that doesn't agree with my presence here. Nevertheless, this door just doesn't want to budge open. So let's go from door to door. My God. That's a, that's a dead body, dude. Oh, well, okay, well, obviously. <laughs> Main bedroom. The sheets on the bed are soaked with the blood of this poor woman. Okay, the naked female corpse on the bed here has a massive hole in her chest. Oh, goodness. You hear that noise? What's that? So the bedside table has a small drawer here. All it contains is a Bible. I'd take it with me if I were, if I was still a religious man. Well, you, well, you know, hey, listen. Uh, you know, the, the word of God is as powerful and as mighty as a two-edged sword okay what okay there is a slightly worn and tattered diary in here oh please don't tell me i gotta read a whole i'm not doing it i hear you man programming doesn't exist anymore it's just a constant barrage of news and images of the rampages across the world i mean ex mortis is just all over the place I can hear you. <laughs> CB radios. Portable CB radios. Well, maybe we might see some radios in here. A dog. It was just a dog. Okay. Joe Bob. Joe Bob. I got Joe Bob. Look at that. Hey, Joe Bob. The Colbys are dead. And there's Joe Bob. <laughs> I'm silly, y'all, man. It's been a long day. Uh, okay, so I fear that we don't have much time left. Yeah, I don't have much time left. I'm trying to get through these. Joe, you fool. You will never get back in time. <laughs> Blank pages. Okay. All right, let's go. That's it? No more? 
Okay, okay, that's it. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. The sheets on the bed are soaked with the blood of this place. But it did, I mean, when they killed this woman, it just, she must have fountained, like, right to the wall. Oh, my gosh. The lampshades on both sides of the bed are stained with blood. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious me. All right, all right, let's get out of here. I think we've seen everything we could see in that room, so let's just go ahead and move. Oh, oh, oh my god. This old mattress looks like it's been in this room for years. It currently serves as a rather pointless cushion for these poor souls in front of me. Oh, Lord. okay, oh, what's this? A lighter? Okay. Okay, a Zippo lighter rests on the floor in front of the bed. Is it me or is this game like getting like a little too easy? Cause like last one was kind of easy. Oh my God, children, no matter how many times I bear witness to such inhumanities, I just can't get used to it. The ex mortis must have swept through here recently. Oh my goodness, oh good Lord, this was grotesque. Oh, this ex mortis must be eradicated. Now this evil, this evil. There's a rather large wet patch on the floor at the entrance of this particular room. The source can probably be, f be found behind this door. Okay. We haven't really had any jump scares just yet, so we're probably going to run into our first one. So, three, two, one, Gaggy! You know what I'm thinking, right? Skibidi bop dum dum yes yes. Skibidi bop dum dee dee. Or or the one that I did recently. I did a, I did a remix to it. It was it was it was, it was with my with that uh, with that character that I created, Uncle H. Remember? Okay. <laughs> all right. So, um, hmm. all right. Okay. There's a fair amount of blood on the floor here. Whoever it belongs to was probably dragged through the bathtub from the way, from the looks of it. Okay. It seems the water supply to this place is still functional. This tap seems to be working just fine. Washy, washy, always wash your hands after you use the toilet. <laughs> All right, okay, there's a fair amount of blood here on the floor. God, a lot of blood, man, this ex mortis. Oh, we have to do something about it. Uh, whoever it belongs to was probably dragged to the bathtub. Okay. Now we're going to get a jump scare. And we got to have it. This, we had no real jump scares except for that uh, that first one. That, oh, that, that first one got me, though. Hold up. So here, what's this? Is, this? is that something on the floor? Is that, was that like a comb or something like that? I don't know what that is. What? Whoa. Uh-oh. Music. Three... Two, one, yay! Okay. This is this is too easy for some reason. I mean, I, oh, uh, but it's, it's it's always those games that don't do a lot of jump scares. But then when it happens, it's like wow, because the fear just builds, like 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 Alien Isolation, which I still have yet to finish, and I want to finish it. I just don't know if I'm going to stream it. Okay. All right. I think there's one more door back here. This, or the, yeah, one more door before this door. Here we go. What's this? Most of the roofing here seems to be water damaged. However, there's a section which appears to have been ripped off rather violently. They tore the roof off! <laughs> Scott, Scott Pilgrim. Huh? Whoa. Oh, dude. <clears throat> that, 
that calls for a swig of water. <laughs> the apparition I just saw was looking out this window. What could she have been looking at? All I see, all I can see, is the scorched earth and the, with, and the distant horizon. The blood of the little girl stains the wall and the floor here. She didn't even see it coming. I can still feel her melancholy presence in this room. And what's this? Ooh, cockboard. A newspaper clip titled Red Sky Approaching Storm. A news clip saying bloodbath, UN where offensive backfires. It's the front page of a newspaper with a picture of the first nuke dropped on Ex Mortis. Oh, they were trying to like, they were really, really trying to fight this thing. Wow. On a grand scale. I remember that day, sitting glued to my TV, watching the coverage. So, newspaper clips uh, titled, uh, Major Cities Under Siege, Infantry Mobilized, Martial Law Declared, 500 Killed as Township of New Hunter Burns. Yeah, Ex Mortis went nuts, man. State of Anarchy, Washington in Flames. United Nations to forge a consolidated force. Japan and China demolish millions more dead. Good God, wow. All right. No hope. Someone has scrawled no hope in what looks like blood. Yeah, that seems to be the running thing. Okay. There's a key. Hanging from the corkboard. From the cork, cork, cork board. Cork board. All right, that sounds like a that sounds like a, a winner right there. Okay, let's get out. Probably right up until the press stop running, at least. So it's a cockboard hanging on the wall here. It is covered in newspaper clippings of recent events. What we just read. Okay, so we got the key. Clearly, there is some kind of entity in this house that doesn't agree with me. Okay, doesn't want to budge open. Okay, so we went to that, we went to this door, that door, that door, and that door. Let me see something. Well, downstairs, back downstairs, I guess. All right, so. Uh, uh, hmm. Okay, so let me go back. I'm not sure what to do next, guys. Let me go back here. Oh, wait a minute. Let let's let's go into that um yeah, let's go in uh let's go into the vent. There we go. Hold up. Yeah! Whoa. I've tasted your soul. Oh. It is a beacon of light. In a time of such darkness. Yeah. Your presence suggests that I spent eternity in here. My name is Xavier. Xavier? In reference to my work. Oh, wow. This shaft takes a turn to the right further up ahead. Okay. The light. The vent is fastened to the wall too tightly to remove the screws with my finger. Can I use this? Hmm. Hmm. The toolbox. The yeah. Hold on, hold on. The toolbox. Yeah. The, but now I can go into it. It it it's it's always with these get. I mean, they're, they're great. Don't get me wrong. They're wonderful. But it's always with these games. It's like you have to go 
and do certain things in order to, you know, allow for other things to happen. So that's the reason why it said that before it said uh, there's nothing in there of any use because I didn't have any use. So use for it up until going into that vent and seeing that I have to remove those screws, those screws, those screws to get rid of the grating. All right, so let's go back. I'm liking this game a lot. I, I like it even better than the first one. I mean, they, they really improved upon this. Oh, oh, I'm in the wrong. I, I, where am I? No, I'm in the wrong place. Where am I going? Okay, let's get back over here. Okay, let's get, get in here. Okay. Okay, let's use it. Let's do it. Lefty Lucy. Righty tighty. Lefty Lucy. And Lefty Lucy. Okay, let's go. Pull up the grate! Yeah. Ooh. The body of a man slumped over the table. From here, it looks like a self-inflicted gun wound did the damage. Gun! A bloodied gun lies on the table next to this corpse. It appears to be the weapon he used to take his own life. The gun is loaded with five bullets. Oh my. I have a feeling we're going to be doing some bang bang later. Let's see what's going on. Is there anything in it? Okay. Door leads outside to the back of this place. Things probably won't be any safer outside than it is in here. Okay. The light overheads used, used to be electrical, but have since been converted to house small candles since the grid went out, I presume. Looks like, oh! Looks like the door to the hallway, I can't use it at the moment as it seems to be welded, wedged solid against a wooden plank. Let's see. Oh, okay. Is there anything in here? Whoa. Oh. Well, looky here found my way uh, radio CB look at that power hmm okay let's uh yeah break a break a break a one nine break a break a one nine you got that snowman come back. <laughs> oh, I think we found something. X Mortis is, 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 Mortis is doing this thing, man. Checking out all the channels. Checking out all the channels. I guess that's it. polymer bottle on the ground is empty here from the smell of it probably once filled with petroleum oh, 
books. A pile of old tattered books sits both on the floor and on the table to my right. There's nothing of much interest in here from a quick glance at their spines. See another stack of books sit on the table to my right. A lot of these books, a lot of these are old but blank and bound by leather. A hot water tank with gas sits at the far end of the cellar. Unfortunately, a warm shower is out of the question as both units are no longer functional. Cardboard box lies open to my right. It's filled with cables and various electronic devices. All of these are useless to me unless the power is magically restored. I don't see anything here that's necessary. Well, hello. Well, that was lucky. Xavier! You know I'm not going to be reading all this stuff. Oh, see, ancient uh, Dominion War, Merciless Kafata, Kafata, Fata, uh, Tactician Nazriel, Manipulator Wool, okay, Soul Bearers. Man was born with a soul, hand of death. I remember this. This was this was from the last game. I, I remember these symbols. Yeah. Weapon of Fire. This man was born with a soul. Mm. See, is there anything here that mm. Circle of Life? Uh, Circle of Life portal to the spirit realm by an act of ultimate sacrifice, removing the use of the weapon of fire. Hmm. Oh, let's see, what is, uh, what of this mortal man's ultimate sacrifice? What of this dagger that the passage speaks of? And who is this man that, dagger, is a dagger? Is there a dagger? Is there a dagger I see before me? All right, let's see. What? Oh, S. The ex mortis is getting closer. I don't have much time. I better get, I better, I better get better, get back in the house and figure out where I'm supposed to be there quickly. Let's go. Oh boy. Brr, brr. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. What do I do? Mm. What do I do? What do I do? Hello, naked person again. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, hold, hold, hold. I'm sorry. I. I the bedside table has a small drawer here. There's a suspicious looking Bible. Okay, before it said, I, 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 uh, it, before the character didn't want to be bothered with the Bible. Now, what is this? Well, hello, okay. Oh, oh, now you want a Bible. Now you want, <laughs> I, I mean, in these games, sometimes you gotta backtrack and things are not always what they seem, okay. Well, hello. With this dagger, sever the link, and the demon horde will fall. Within your faith lies the answer. Let's pick the, the, this a dagger I see before me. Okay. All right, so. Um, 
Look at all this wonderful stuff. Okay, man. What? Quickly, or we don't have much time. Oh, okay. Um, let's. Xavier, okay. Okay. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Hold up. Sacrifice is written in blood on the wall. What is this sacrifice I have to make? Whoa, hold up. Is it me? Dry blood stains on the floor in a circular pattern around the chair. Strange symbols sit at equidistant, at equidistant, at equidistant points. I'm learning new words every day, y'all. <laughs> equidistant points around the circle. This must be the portal. Okay, a uh, wooden chair sits in the middle of a ceremonial circle. I guess I'm supposed to sit here, but what am I supposed to do? What does this decide? No way. Okay, okay, so I'm supposed to do myself? Oh, boy. Oops. I've seen crazier things happen in games, so let's do it. A weapon of fire. This gun has taken four innocent lives. OF. Oh, I have to take my own life with this gun to open the portal? That's the ultimate sacrifice. I'm the fifth in. Whoa. I don't know what's going to happen, y'all. I don't. Oh, wow. First of all, disclaimer Popcorn, coffee, and joysticks. HB Gibson does not endorse or condone self-deletion. If you are depressed, if you need somebody to talk to, there, there are people out there, there are professionals that are out there waiting to help you. There's always a next day, okay? Don't be depressed, don't let things get to you. There's always a next day, there's always something that God Almighty has for you in, in your life. All you gotta do is just ask. And uh, get professional help, of course. Okay, so this is just a game, y'all. Here we go. Oh. Is this the end of the game? Ooh. Okay. Dominion. This is amazing. I could never have imagined that a world such as this existed. There is just an empty space as far as I can see. I can't imagine spending eternity here. What is this? It's another strange beacon drifting in the distance. These buoys need to be powered up, powered up, and linked together before I can move. What's that? Oh. Oh, okay, so I gotta, like, connect them somehow. Okay, there's like a pattern here. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so, okay. Oh man, okay, hold up. Okay, so. Here, and here, here, there, and there. Okay, so what we're going to do, we'll start here, and then, no. Okay, damn, am I just stupid?
This is interesting. Four hours later. Alright, 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 alright. So. I'm just gonna go in order, okay? So this is. Whoa! That that was like one, two, three, three, two, one. Hold up. Um. Let me try. I'm gonna try that same pattern. I'm gonna try that same pattern. Hold up. And that's the next biggest one. I think it has to do with distance. Woo! Uh, uh -huh. I don't know how I can read them. I, I just can't. Maybe this... Hold on. The symbols mean what was, what is, what will be, what it is, what it was, what would it be. <laughs> Good morning, Vietnam, Robin Williams. <laughs> uh, the last two read Ancient Dominion. I don't know how I can read them. I just can't. Maybe it's the it's the place. This is the doorway back to the Earth realm. So this is how the ex mortis are re corp re corporalizing yeah. and flooding across. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm I'm not ignorant. I can read. It's just that I never had to read. Then it was a new word to me across the planet. Well, here goes nothing. Let's see what's whoa. Who's the freaky? Who's the freak? Uh oh. Okay, I hear boom boom. Whoa. What is that? F me, what a trip. I don't know where I am, but I've somehow regained my physical form. The hair on the back of my neck is standing on end. This place feels inherently evil. A half up a box half full with bullets sits next to the corpse. It appears that they are suitable f uh, for use in my gun. Okay, I'm about to do some FPS. I better reload in case I run into trouble down here. Here we go, babies. What's going on here? What? A, whoa! Ooh! Oh, come get some! Come get some! Ooh, come get some! Ooh, come get some! What? Ooh! Oh! What's going on here? What's going on here? What's up? Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Come get some. What is it? What is it? Oh, you got to pull a fast one, ain't you? It's got to be ex mortis. Bulls don't seem to affect him. Everything I read refers to the ceremonial dagger I'm carrying. All right. This has got to be the hand of Ex Mortis. All I have to do now is use this dagger and all will be over. I hope. Did we do it? Did we do it? I think we did it. What? What? Oh! 
The tunnel seems to stretch on forever into the darkness, but I have nothing left to fear. I finish what I came here to do, and now I venture onwards into the unknown. I I I I I sense a huge jump scare coming. Here we go. Another tunnel stretches off into the darkness ahead. I have no idea where I am and no no and no known way of telling how long this tunnel system goes for. Another tunnel stretches off into the dark. This looks familiar. I have no idea where I am and no known way of telling how long this tunnel goes for. I what didn't we go through here before in the first one? A very faint trace of light creeps over the crest here. I think I'm close to getting out of here finally. Yeah, we think. Oh, it's you. I finally found the exit, but a familiar figure blocks the doorway. It suddenly occurs to me that this is the entity I spoke to in the church. Oh, so you were the one that was in the confessional, huh? All right. I've got so many questions for him. Oh, Mr. Hannay, how good it is to see you again. Hmm. Congratulations are definitely in order. You have accomplished something the combined forces of humanity could not. I must admit, when we last met in the church, I was unsure if you were the right person for the job. However, it seems my faith in you wasn't misplaced after all. Mm. Your actions have paved the way for a prosperous new age. Which reminds me, I must also remember to thank Xavier for his role in this. Xavier. How is he, anyway? Still moaning about losing his little whore of a daughter? Yo! <laughs> you so bearish. So complicated, yet... Once again, I find myself surprised in the ease at which your kind can be manipulated. Much easier than my former brethren within the Xmorphus. He's talking a whole lot of mess. Why the look of surprise? Surely you must have had some suspicions that I, Lord Blay, was the one who set you upon this path. Really? Calm now, child. My fellow Xmorphus opposed me as their leader many eons ago. Wouldn't it be rather unwise to put myself in a position for the same inevitable treachery to take place? Only now do you realize I needed you to remove my enemies and clear the path for my return to rule over a world which has always been rightfully mine. And it certainly seems that you came through for me with flying colors. So, Mr. Hannay, for your Romanness, I commend you. For your part in this, I applaud you. And for your help in this, I grant you a gift. Whoa! A quick death. Well, I'll be dang. Really? Created by Ben Leffler, ladies and gentlemen, this was Ex Mortis 2. Wow, I'm really digging this. I'm really digging this series. I can't wait to, to do uh, X Mortis 3, which is coming up next, by the way, in the next video, the next chapter of Popcorn, Coffee, and Joysticks. See you next time. Hey, everybody. Due to technical difficulties beyond my control and apparently everybody else's control, I am not able to continue to X Mortis three uh it looks like uh flash games are no longer supported um i tried downloading the new grounds game player and it still doesn't work so trust me once i'm able to play x mortis 3 i'm gonna play it all right thank you for joining me see you next time on the next popcorn coffee and joysticks hb gibson signing off Uh, I'm in this game like my name is PlayStation Voice over cosplay, content creation Don't worry, don't stress, don't fuss No competition cause there's room for all of us Of who I am, who I am, is who I be My last name is Gibson, initial HB God up above, Rouge Rose got my back I'm playing scary games while you watch me react
popcorn, coffee, joysticks. Big shout out to Torture Star Video and Puppet Combo. Combo. Combo.